everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. So I want to just very, very quickly show you Autocrat and how I use it to send out auto messages and auto certificates after people fill out the evaluation or the Google form. I've already done a couple of things. So the first thing I did was create a folder. This is where I want all of the certificates to go. I don't want them to just be random in my Google Drive. So I created a nice little folder that they can go into. Also created a lovely Google form. So AutoCrat example, and I created the spreadsheet. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is create my certificate. And you can do that using whatever you want to. I'm just gonna come here and go to new Google Slides, go to the little arrow, and from a template. There are other ways to get there, but I'm already in Google Drive, so this is what I'm using. And then I'm gonna come here and use the student certificate. Really quick certificate. If you want something you know, more massive than this, you can go ahead and set this up however you wanna set it up. But this is good enough for what I need. So for example, I can come and click on the picture. I can right click on it and replace this image from, um, from my computer. Let's say I replace it with my logo. There you go. I can click and then double click on this little part because I want to change the color. So I can come here to fill color and there you go. And now it looks like a certificate that's for me and my logo. So the last thing I want to do is wherever I want Autocrat to fill in by itself. So for example, student name, I want Autocrat to fill this in. I'm going to use the two little carrots, arrows, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to put name and then there you go. Now that means on my Google form, this has to be a question just like this. I'm going to show you another place where you can find how these are supposed to look and then you can copy and paste them. So I'm just going to do name. I'm not going to do date and all that, but I can if I wanted to. So there you go. My certificate is completed. Now when I go to my Google form, I have name, you see, capital N, A-M-E. So that's why I was able to do that. Email, I even have name of training. So if I wanted to do that, I could. So I can come here, I could, let's say, copy it. And let's say right here, I'm gonna let it fill in the name of the training, just for an example. So I'm gonna do my two arrows and two closing arrows. Let's see how all this works. All right, so I have this and I went to responses and I made my spreadsheet. So my spreadsheet is up and ready to go. I'm going to come here to add-ons, and I already have Autocrat. If you don't have Autocrat, you're going to go to Get Add-ons and go ahead and search for Autocrat. It's usually one of the top three rows. And then you're going to click it, and then you're going to click Install. I have more buttons here because I'm a Google Admin. So you're just going to click Install. If it doesn't let you install and you're using a school account, it may be because your school blocked you from downloading them yourself. So that's when you're going to have to go to your school and ask them about it. So I already have Autocrat, so I'm going to click Add-ons, Autocrat, and Launch. Woo -woo. So I'm going to wait for this to come up. And I'm going to click New Job. So I'm going to give my job a name. I'm going to say that it's the Sample Webinar Certificates. And this is just a name for myself. And I'm going to click Next. And now I need to link it to the certificate. So I will say at this point, if you haven't put all these things in their certificate, then you can click Next. But I, I have put them in, so I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So I'm going to click From Drive. I think it's just called student certificate because I didn't give it a name. So it's right here, but sometimes you do have to search. Now I do want to tell you if, you, if you do a search, like student certificate, you do, don't pick it from the list. You do want to go ahead and click the search and then click on their certificate and then click next. So that's just a little tip that I've definitely learned. So sometimes I'll type and I'll see it and I'm like, ooh, and I'll click on it and it doesn't work. So. Go ahead and just do a normal search and then click once and then click select. So then what it's going to do is it's going to click, um, pick up those tags that I did if, if it does. So these are called tags. But mine, oh, sorry, didn't seem to pick it up. So I'm just going to click next. And there you go. So name, I want the name in there. Name of training, 
I want name of training. I don't want how did you like this training to be filled in with, for name of training, if that makes sense. So name of training, I want to go for name of training, name, I want to go for name. So this is cool. It already did it for me. Now, you heard what I said, that if you didn't feel comfortable doing these yourself, you can always come here, click this little arrow, and they're all here for you. So all the questions you put on that Google form will be sitting here for you. So for example, if I wanted to, let's say, um, I can go back when I added the certificate. If I didn't want to add it, I could just click next, come here. As soon as you click it, it's going to actually copy. And then I could come here and paste it. So if you wanted to do that, you can as well. So there you go here. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So this is the file name that people will see. So what I usually like to do, you don't have to do this, but I like to put their name in the file name. So I just click here and click it and it's already copied for me. So I'm going to go ahead and paste and I'll put sample webinar certificate. So I'm, I am saying that the name of my webinar is Sample Webinar. So when they get this in their email, it has their personal name on it and then, you know, Sample Webinar Certificate. And I put this as a PDF because I don't want them to have the Google side. I want them to have a PDF, like a real certificate. And then I click Next. And then I don't want this to go to my drive. I want it to go to the folder that I already created. So I'm going to delete that folder and choose my folder. So again, because I just did it, it's sitting right here. If it wasn't though, I'm going to come up here and search. You see how I cut like, oh, yay, don't do that. Just come up here and finish typing it out and then go ahead and click the search because you want to click on the folder and then click select. You don't want to be inside the folder. So you want to click on, you're selecting the folder, not anything inside the folder. So I'm going to click and click select, done. This is the folder I want you to go to next. I'm not going to deal with any of this. You can. There's other stuff you can do, but I'm not. So now I'm on step eight, and I'm clicking yes. I do want it to be a PDF because I do want to share it automatically. And then I come here, and I want this to go to the email address. So copy and paste email. And then I also like to put their name in the subject. You don't have to do that. It's just something I like to do. And I'll put your sample webinar certificate is here and that's because people delete stuff and so i like to make it very clear like hey here's your certificate and then for the message i created a like sample autocrat message and if you've ever come to any of my webinars you've gotten this message and notice all i do is i change the resource i change who the presenter is and that's it so i can just come here and go ahead and i, I don't want the whole screen let me click off of that. Um, but I'm going to come here and I'm going to copy it. It's acting a little crazy right now because I'm trying to go quickly. That's the only reason. And I'm going to come here and copy it. And then when I come here, I'm going to paste it. And then I usually just kind of go through and make sure the spacing is what I want it to be. So we're going to act like all this is filled in, but we're going to act like the spacing and everything is good. So awesome. I'm going to click next. And then I want this form to run on the trigger. So I want every time they fill out the form trigger, I want every time they fill it out for it to automatically send. So I'm gonna say yes. And then I'm gonna click save. So that is it. I have set up my autocrat. I do like to test it just to make sure that it works correctly. So I'm gonna come here to my Google form and I'm going to say that my, oh, I guess I need to, click the eyeball so I can actually fill it out. So I'm going to say my name is Desiree, my email address. I'm going to put my email so we can see it come through. Do, 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 do. Uh, it was amazing, of course. And the name was training one. So I notice I did put a drop down so everyone won't have a different name of training on their certificate. So I'm going to hit submit. And then what I'll see on here is if Autocrat is running correctly, you see it put like some other stuff over here. And then it's going to kind of fill this out to tell me that that certificate was sent. So there you go. So you see it took a second. And now I'm going to go ahead and check my email. So I'm going to wait for that to come up. 
Ta-da! My name, your sample webinar certificate is here. It has all of my message in it and it has my certificate. If I click on my certificate, it filled in training one and it filled in the name. Isn't that awesome? And you saw it didn't take that long. Now, of course, the first time you do it, you're gonna go back through, through this video, but I want to give it to you just kind of quick and dirty, quick and simple. How can you just get this? Now, if I didn't want a certificate, I didn't have to put it. I could have just put a message in here and it still would have just sent the message. So then what I do when I'm testing it, I usually will come back here and delete this whole row. So that way that row won't show up on the real stuff. And on the Google form, I'll come here and click the three dots and delete all responses. So that way my sample response isn't on there and now I'm ready to go. Whenever I wanna use this, I just give out my Google form like normal and all of this will be filled in and they'll get their certificate um, or their, their message and or certificate. Good luck.